Okay, here I want to show you um, the Burke Lake 3D sonar images that I took from my Raymarine Axiom 9 inches with RV100 sonar and it's a 3D so this is a um, you can see this is um, Burke Lake and I'm um somewhere um and this is this this bar here is actually a uh let's mix maximize this this is actually the scroll back so it does have the recording history so in our history for 10 minutes so you can scroll move this ball white ball backwards for 10 minutes and you can see um the colors are Right now, I'm in the sphere mode instead of the point mode, meaning the fish are in sphere, in, in balls, ball shapes. Each ball represents a fish. And right now, I'm um, um, water temperature is 41 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's only 6 degrees Celsius. It's very cold. And these uh, ball represent the fish. And um, the fish uh, balls or fish dots are actually represented in rainbow uh, color, the seven colors of rainbow uh, in, uh, in to determine their um, depth. So the uh, red color is uh, fish almost at the top and the next color is orange um, and then next color is uh, yellow uh, and then green and then um, and then blue and then and then um what is it? And then, um, yeah, so from the shallowest to the deepest, it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and then violet. So as you can see, these blue dots are represent fish in the deeper end of the, um, of, of the water. And uh, uh, this is my boat. I'm actually... My bow is actually at the, um, I'm coming back from the deep, deepest end of the lake, which is the water dam. Okay, so as you can see, this is the, this is the 30 feet contour line. So. So you can see this is, um. They, so you can see I'm I'm going back and I'm tracing this contour going at 30 feet deep. I'm trying to stay in the 30 feet deep of water. So right now the depth is 29.7. So this is my boat, the boat icon that I picked because it's an outboard. That's why I have that. But actually I um I I am I was on a uh, slave propel 10 feet kayak. So um, I'm actually not even in my open bow boat. And you can see um, my speed over ground, SOG stand for speed over ground is 1.7 uh, mile per hour. So I'm moving this. Um, the default is actually, um, the default is actually not. So I changed this so that um, I can, you know, I'm more used to this mile per hour. And the depth is 36 feet. As you can see, I'm uh, going a little bit off track here. You know, and so instead of going along this 30 foot deep contour, and you can see all the fish here, you know, this is a 3D. And um, um, I could have adjusted, the water temperature is 41.7 degrees. It's pretty uh, cold. Um, and uh, the the speed of um, the, the four, fifth, the, the 41 degrees is equal to 5 Celsius 
versus 56 degrees at a uh, four mile run, which is um, 46, 56 degrees Fahrenheit at four mile run river and uh, 13 Celsius. And uh, of course the 56 degrees at four mile run, that's because of the sewer, the warm water discharge. And you can see all the, you know, fish are congregated in here, you know, deep end. So I'm looking at, uh, well, so so these are the options, you know. So I'm, I'm what I what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to add the depth. I'm trying to add the water temperature. I'm trying to add the speed over ground, and I'm trying to adjust the size, you know. So so I can adjust the size and the data selection. As you can see, you can have GPS B. You can have quite a few things, you know, and. Uh, you know, I chose water temperature, and that's what this water temperature is. And the depth, I'm, you know, I changed the size to smaller. And right now, I'm changing the water temperature from medium to small. You know, default is medium, and the uh, speed over ground, the same thing. I'm going to change it. I think. Well, anyway, so you can see this is this is this is my stupid uh, uh, cursor. Anyway, so you know, I just use my fingers, um, zoom myself in, and then uh, move move the boat uh, location to better. So as you can see, these two red balls that represent the fish um, at the uh, shallowest uh, uh, place. And right now, I'm at 22 feet deep. My boat position, I you know, I headed to the shore, so I'm quickly adjusting my bear bearing. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. You can see the boat turning around you know away from the shore because I wasn't paying attention I was looking at my um, you know anyway so you can see now um, to the right about 20 feet oh here we go you know see these two these uh, red dots and uh, orange and uh, yellow and green you know so, so the red colors mean meaning the fish the sh at, in the shallower area and this is 2.4 uh, mile per hour in, from my kayak and you can see all the fish are you know dotted in green color you know or light green color and I'm looking you know to the right 20 feet and that's 40 feet this is 20 feet again the depth is 17 feet and you can see spotted you know fish um, the red balls you know in the shallow but very very few you know very few but so this is a very this is you know see see here See here, the fish are concentrated in here. See this red dots, you know. But then the deeper it goes, the the more um fish. So I was at eleven feet, you know. So there there are a bunch of fish here. See that red dots? Those are um shallower, and I'm uh, propelling at two point one mile per hour in my uh, in my uh, native Slayer propel ten feet uh, kayak. And this is um this is um you know the depths of um. 6. Point, um, 6.8, 6.4 feet, you know. Um, you know, so, and this is my boat. I changed it to this bottom view. So, you know, it's pretty cool that uh, you just use your finger, move around, and then the boat will just, you know, turn around. And you, you, with this chart, it's very good because I can see where I am at uh, Burke Lake. And again, um, even though I have an open bow bowl with an outboard in the back, no, you cannot use the uh, cast motor in Burke Lake. Okay, and I'm actually on a kayak. It's a it's a foot pedal the kayak, so I'm not even uh, using electric motor at all. You know, right now it's I'm getting, I'm going sailing into the deeper end, which is 18 feet, 19 feet, and you can see over here it's all bare. There is no fish at all. Not even in the deep end, the 20 feet deep, there is nothing. You know, because if you see fish, it's going to be displayed in green, in blue color. See, there is a yellow color fish. You know, but goes to tell you right here, there's nothing. Over this section, there's no fish at all. I was amazed. And then see here two fish. This may be musky. Oh more 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 blue dots. So you know 2.4 miles per hour and more blue dots. But then you see, you know, once you pass that location, you know, I should put a waypoint here. You know, and there's 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 you know, you go you go about I don't know, ten feet, there's no fish, you know. See now there's uh, yellow uh, uh orange and red, you know, here's a few 
that's floating in the shallow in the in the 10 feet 5 feet you know see there's a there's a bunch you know these could be the musky you know big fish see there's more there's more right here right here when the when the when the lake turn you know see i spotted more fish over here so that's this is this is a good spot i should put a waypoint here these are more floating fish uh in this area you know and i'm traveling at two miles per hour over ground speed over ground is the sog stand for and then you can see more you know more fish to my right you know in other words closer to this vesper island it's about 20 feet 40 feet you know over there you know between the 15 feet deep and the 20 feet or 25 feet deep water the light blue and the blue color and you can see more more here you know and um, there is a bunch you know over 20 feet uh, to the right there's nothing to the left that's interesting because this 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 end is uh, pretty shallow and that's why there's nothing you know pretty flat as you can see it's wide but over here it changes it changes the 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 the, the uh, what do you call that the the water depth actually changes from white color deep color deep and to the light blue and then change very quickly that's why this area it's a lot of fish look here's a lot of fish again 2.3 mile water temperature 41.7 and the depth is 24.9 feet and uh, you can see this ray marine 3d and again these dots are in rainbow colors seven colors and the red color is the shallowest and the violet is the deep deepest end of the water now it's 24 feet you know so it's pretty uh pretty amazing so this is the ray marine i have the nine inch monitor um or multi-function display you know it does a lot more thing whoa whoa you can see this this area tons of fish but it, they're all in the deep and the 20 the bottom the 24 feet or you know they all hang to the you know close very close to the bottom you know see there you go i'm uh, tilting this so you can see better see these red dots they're they're actually in the you know shallower water you know see they see i'm uh, turning this thing you know backwards and i i you know once and after a while i lost my orientation see these fish you know they're in the 20 they're less than 20 feet deep see these actually maybe 10 you know or even five you know so as my turn as my boat turned towards the pier i can see more fish in the shallow area you see that you see that not so much about the contour the bottom though you know i want to see mountainish uh kind of uh, terrain at the lake bottom but i don't see it and it looks like it's mostly flat you know big in the in this white area it's mostly flat you know and you can see i continue to see fish here you know and which is it you know i can next time when i go i'll be and i mark these um uh, waypoints um so that i can go along these tracks you know so and you can see you know a few floating fish here and there you know the red color and the orange color and then the deep end is the um so right now my view is this uh, top down view uh right here you know so you can see it's pretty cool 2.2 .2 mile my speed over ground um you know and this is the intensity intensity is so that um again my uh, i have the rv3 100 transducer that's why it's a real vision 3d um this if you hit this if you miss something you want to go back then you hit this pause um button um let's see i don't know what happened here i think um yeah i must be doing okay i wanted to change it to chart and um you know so anyway so we just passed the fishing pier at Burke Lake here and that's the boat ramp so I'm uh, actually heading to this uh, wake point right here you know so I continue to see fish you know um, in, in, in the back of my kayak or underneath my kayak you can see the yellow dots very deep 16.5 uh, feet you know and the red dots are fish in the shallower area so I'm you know trying to turn this um, this um this uh 3d sonar boat 
in different uh, direction you know so it's good to have the chart and the 3d sonar side by side because this way um, you know as you can see over here there's nothing you can you so next time you know I, I next time I'll focus on this area because I, I we pass here we, as you um, uh, saw with me that uh, we saw a bunch of fish here you know floating one not just in the deep end like these these um, these uh, blue dots you know so I'm actually um, yeah I just lost my uh, depths oh okay good so this is the gain the sensitivity adjustment you know you, you press that button then you get the sensitivity adjustment let me go back a little bit let me freeze this thing this is the one good so let me uh, stop the sonar right here so this is the sensitivity this G is uh, for gain right now it's auto so you can adjust the gain um, to increase the sensitivity and the intensity is for the fish uh, um, what do you call that the fish uh, targets um, you can so you can you can intensify the fish targets to uh, see the fish better you know right now it's all tall next time I'll change this to bigger and then see what happened and this is the surface filter um, for um, you know everything I set it to all tall so surface filter is to eliminate the uh, uh, noise or the water bubbles uh, generated from the what do you call that the, the the motor prop but I I don't have any motor prop I mean I was just kicking my um, feet um, the propel drive you know so I don't think I generated a lot so the auto is actually good but next time I'll um, test that feature as well so let's continue you know here we go so and you can see so we are uh, almost done here and uh, you know so it's pretty cool um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a subscribe for part two I'll show you a lot more in part two but this is this is the first part um, that I have so it's pretty cool this is um, I have never seen any uh, you know 